Hi friends, it's Miss Tracy at Smith County Public Library. That's where I am right now, and you're not here, and I wish you were. Someone today mentioned that next week is October, and I was like, what, October already? So I'm gonna read you this book. It's called Oscar the Octopus by Matthew Van Fleet. It's a wonderful book published by Simon & Schuster, and it's gonna help us learn our months because I've certainly feel like I've lost quite a few months this year. I bet you do too. So before any further ado, let's ring our bell. I'll gather around for story time, and here we go. Oscar the Octopus. January. The sea was covered in ice when Oscar caught something orange and striped. A lionfish. February was freezing with snow, sleet, and hail when Oscar caught something with green, pebbly scales. It's a sea turtle. It is kind of pebbly. March blew in with a blustery gale when Oscar caught something with a scratchy blue tail. Oh, definitely scratchy. Let's see what it is. It's a shark. Two sharks, maybe. April spring rains came. April spring rains came and splattered and sprinkled when Oscar caught something bright red that crinkled. Listen, it's crinkly. Ready? It's a lobster. May brought spring flowers, warm ocean spray when Oscar caught something fuzzy and gray. It's a little baby penguin and it's fuzzy. Look, I just wanna go back a little bit and say, this was the last month that you all were in school and the last month you were at the library. It was a long time ago. Now, here we are caught up to June was breezy, bright and warm when Oscar caught something with a sticky, it is sticky, bleh, sticky pink arm. Ready? It's a cuttlefish, although I don't know if they're very cuddly. They're cute though. July, the sun burned and summer sea swirled when Oscar caught something bumpy yellow and curled. It's very bumpy. Let's see. A seahorse, a daddy and a baby, I think. August was sweltering, humid and hot when something squishy and purple was what Oscar caught. I wonder what it is, it's squishy. It's a sea snail. So this was last month and now we're on this month, apparently. It's already September. September was cooler with air bright and brisk when Oscar caught something thin, black, and slick. There's our hint. Let's see, what's it gonna be? An eel or maybe a family of eels. Ah, October, that's next month. And I hope I'll get to see you in person in October. October, autumn leaves fell and swirled around when Oscar caught something furry and brown. It is quite furry to the touch. Let's see what it is. It's a sea otter. He's so cute. This is next month. No, this is the next month after that. November, that's the month of Thanksgiving, normally. Uh, the air turned chill November the air turned chilly and cold when Oscar caught something shiny and gold. Oh, goldfish. <laughs> December. This is the month of Christmas and it is the last month of the year. December. The sea was again covered in snow when Oscar had nearly caught all he could hold, but he still managed to catch one last thing, a cold. Oh, poor Oscar. So Oscar caught a soft white tissue, and there it is, for his sore runny nose. Then he smiled and he snorted, and with one great big blow, honk. <laughs> Oscar the octopus let everyone go. Here they are. Isn't that a fun book? I think so. I sure do miss you guys, and I hope I'll get to see you soon. Um, 
somewhere at your school, at my library, somewhere, sometime, because I, I love seeing you guys and I love when you get to come here. Now, remember how you can't come here right now because we're closed to the public, but you can order books. You can call us and say, I really like puppy dogs. I'd like 10 books about puppy dogs and we will get those to you just like that. And the same with movies and the same with other things. Now, I do have a little bad news about this book. Um, first of all, it's perfect. It's great. But the bad news is you can't check it out. You see all these things that are like crinkly and scratchy and sticky and furry. We just can't check those out to you right now. Mm -mm, that'll be too hard to clean and we can't. But regular books with regular pages, you can check those out all day long. Anyway, um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.